caffeine is a non-essential dietary component that acts as a stimulant to increase brain activity. But is it safe? Experts say that moderate intake of caffeine is not associated with increased risk for major chronic disease. For moderate caffeine intake, stay under 300 to 400 milligrams per day. Have you ever wondered how much caffeine you drink each day? Let's take a look at the average caffeine content of some common beverages. Notice that caffeine content varies widely across these sources. Be aware that caffeine content can change based on production and brewing methods. So become familiar with the average content of common beverages and drink wisely. If you do choose to drink caffeine, be aware that energy drinks, coffee shop creations, and sweetened teas can be high in added sugars. Try selecting options that are low in added sugars. By choosing black coffee or hot tea, you can control the amount of sugar you add, if any at all. For energy drinks, select options low in added sugar by comparing labels and selecting the drink with the least amount. Let's talk more about energy drinks. Energy drinks can be labeled as either beverages or dietary supplements. Those that are labeled as dietary supplements may contain other ingredients that are added because they are claimed to help mental and physical performance. But scientific evidence is lacking to support these claims. So drink with caution and do your research by contacting the manufacturer for more information. If caffeine just isn't your cup of tea, let's talk about some alternatives. Eat balanced meals for sustained energy. Diets high in omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to help with brain function and learning. Find omega-3 fatty acids in fish, canola oil, and walnuts. To help maintain energy levels, snacks should have protein and fiber-rich carbohydrates. If you do choose to drink caffeine, try to use it to help meet other nutrient needs. Choosing a fat-free milk latte can help you increase your daily intake of calcium and vitamin D. Now that you're all caught up on caffeine, keep up with other food and nutrition topics by subscribing to our channel or contacting your local county extension agent.